And now Camden is acting out because I took the tablet from him. And I just think that's so unhealthy and just not okay. How do boys just instinctively know to like... Target and buy? I will use that Target. Every time Camden wants something, like if we say, oh, we don't have any more of that cereal or we don't have this, he's like, we need to go to the store and buy. And it's just so funny. Like he, he knows that if we run out of something, we have to go to the store and buy it. We're sort of on a really weird schedule. I just feel so oh, off, like yeah. everything. Like even last night, I, I didn't even like clean the kitchen. I guess we were so tired. So I woke up to this really big mess and I've already like consolidated it and stuff, so it was like even worse. It's almost 10 o'clock and I just now heard the baby. So Calvin is way, way off with his schedule. And I kind of thought that I would go to the gym today just to kind of get the kids out of the house and stuff. But it's just one of those days where you look outside and it's just like dark and cold and I really don't really want to leave the house. We're gonna see this little baby who gets to sleep until 10. Oh my gosh, hi! Who do you think you are? Oh, it's okay. Hi. Sometimes I think what happens to Cal is that he wakes up earlier when nobody's up yet or he like he hears Justin getting ready for work really early in the morning and then he will um, be awake for a while, just quiet in his crib and then he goes back to sleep and that's why he sleeps in so much. You say good morning. good morning. Oh my goodness. It's delicious. <laughs> What's delicious? What are you doing? I'm Did you drink the milk out of there? Yes. <laughs> yes? Oh my goodness. Where'd you learn that from? <clears throat> Hi, baby. All right, Mama's going to get you some stuff to eat. No, are no. you hungry? No, no. Yeah, that's a no-no. See, you know that's a no-no. Because when you do it, you say no-no. Don't do that. Hey, ah, ah. Calvin, this is how it's been lately. I can't, I can't even like get him breakfast made without him being like into everything. So I've been having to put him in his high chair. You're a troublemaker. Come here. Are you hungry? Hungry. Hungry. I want lunch for dinner. You want lunch for dinner. It's breakfast time. Kim gets his, his real time to make stuff. I guess I'm gonna actually get dressed today because the, it's sad that the only reason why I want to get dressed is because I don't want to get my robe wet while I wash the dishes otherwise I would just stay in this robe all day I have no reason to get dressed really and I mean sometimes I just I stay in the same clothes for like three days anyway so I got some clothes on that's an accomplishment for the day I went to the fridge and took out this for Calvin this yogurt and he's over there saying yogurt 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 what is that baby yeah. yogurt this is peach yogurt let me see if you like it peach yogurt mm. I had um, some kite hill coupons so I got a couple of varieties of kite hill and this one is the Greek style peach do you like it is that yummy yogurt oh Now that the little boys are all fed, I finally got my smoothie together. I tried a new recipe today. I've been um, trying out new smoothie recipes and I found one online that I think tastes pretty good. It's like a, it's got uh, orange juice, kale, berries, Can mango, and chia seeds. Mommy? Can I have kale smoothie? Yeah, you can have some kale smoothie. I'll let you guys both try it. You wanna try it? Mmm. <laughs> Is that good? Oh, nice little slobber there. Is it good? Yeah. I feel like I've been in the mood for smoothies because I feel like it should be hot outside. Is it good? It's good. But the weather keeps good. being random and just like it'll be hot one day and then freezing the next. And today it's really dark outside. You don't even see the sun and it's really cold. So 
It's kind of an odd day to have a smoothie, so I had to put my robe on because I was like freezing Not drinking it. But I'm just gonna share it with these little babies. Oh my gosh, and we're gonna watch Hop. Except that I think I smell something. The funny thing is, the second that my smoothie was ready, like I literally like put the straw to my mouth, Camden said, I have to go potty. And then we just got back from taking him to the bathroom. All three of us went because Calvin has to come with us. Oh, you went some more? <laughs> but, um, you know, I sit down with them to watch a movie and, like, actually drink my smoothie. And somebody has the nerve to poop their pants. At least he likes the smoothie. Is that good? Yeah, guys, I think it's time to go in the playroom. Come on. I think I'm going to take my smoothie. And take you guys to a place of containment. I thought that I was going to be able to put a dent in these dishes, but these little babies are just too wild. I can't get anything done. I have only like a select couple of windows throughout my day that I can like get things done. And it's so hard to keep up, like I tell you. At the stage that we're at right now, Calvin is either taking apart the couch cushions or he's like knocking over chairs and or climbing onto the dining room table. So I typically have, Kim is just literally karate chops like Calvin in the back. Hey, be soft. Be soft, guys. How do boys just instinctively know to like wrestle each other and just like be rough? Like, who taught Camden to like elbow Calvin in the back? Like, it's not like we watch that on TV. Like, I don't understand. I don't know where he gets it from. I don't know how they know how to rough house. Like, it's crazy. And honestly, you guys, like, from how they act right now, I mean, Camden is almost three and a half and Calvin is 18 months and they are already starting to wrestle. Like, that, that terrifies me for what's to come. Like, I, I'm just like... But yeah, okay guys, come on, next location. Moving on. You see myself? I see you. I see you too, yeah. I'm just this. Hey, can you get down? I'm in the camera. Can you guys Trying to get this baby to settle down a little bit. We played in the playroom for a while, and then I gave the kids some lunch. And I'm afraid because he woke up so late this morning that he's not gonna go to sleep. Sorry that you guys are like jiggling so much. That's Camden. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put this baby down for a nap. You wanna go night night? Are you tired? He seems like he's kind of grumpy. You want your juice? Get your juice. Get your juice. Calvin, Calvin. Yeah. Calvin's pretty quiet, so I'm hoping that he goes right to sleep. But since he's in bed, I'm gonna get to making my lunch. And um, I actually did something different this week, and I meal prepped some quinoa and some brown rice. And I just mixed the two together. It's been really nice having um, this like prepped in the house because it makes lunch really easy to make. Like I can make a lot of different kind of meals out of this as like a base. But today I think I'm gonna make kind of like a like a Mexican kind of burrito bowl. All right, I'm gonna show you guys my bowl all done. So you can't really see it, but under here is where the rice and quinoa is with like beans and hot sauce and salsa. And then I just loaded it with like some romaine, some olives, some avocado, some little um, jalapenos and some cashew sour cream, and I'm so excited to eat this. Mm -mm. Kevin is watching his tablet, as you guys probably saw. I caved for today, um, and I just let it, I just let him have it. He, I've definitely not been letting him have a tablet every single day, um, more like every couple of days or every few days, and I've been trying to limit it more because he was getting to the point where he was like, getting like having a tantrum basically when you would take it away from him so i was like this isn't healthy i feel like it was i just felt like it was altering his mentation too i just i don't know it, it's weird to say i know he's just watching like blippy and educational stuff for the most part but i don't know yeah so we've we've dialed it down on tablet time but um for my editing drink today i um we went to whole foods the other day and i picked up this kombucha this is the brand of kombucha that I always get, but I typically get um, like the regular looking one that says enlightened, because this one says enlightened right here. Hopefully it's not too blurry for you guys. But um, this one is Mystic Mango, and I thought it sounded really good. So instead of like a coffee, I'm gonna have kombucha today. But yeah, I'm just gonna get to some editing, drink my kombucha while Cameron is busy and while the baby naps. Fast forward a couple hours and Calvin is up from his nap 
and I'm in the kitchen cooking. And lately I've been trying to cook while Calvin is still sleeping, like at least do my prep work because it's like impossible to get anything done. And this is, uh, this is why. <laughs> I, I have him knocking over all the dining room chairs while I'm trying to cook and I usually end up having to put him in the seat, but he hates it, so I'm trying not to do it. But, Calvi, what am I supposed to do with you? That's not nice. That's not nice. Hey. Oh, jeez. Mama's gonna put your chair in the kitchen and you're gonna have to watch me cook. That's what happens when you do that. You little stinker, and you poop too. You're a stinker, stinker, stinker. Stinker, you're stinky. Guys, no joke, I was just going to change his diaper and I turned the camera off, and he goes, no, no, high chair. No, no, high chair. You don't want to go in the high chair, then don't knock over my dining room chairs. All right, you had your chance. You know you're not supposed to climb up there. We can't, we can't seem to get you to listen. You're gonna have to go in your chair. Come on. And Camden, I think you've had enough tablet time. Mama's gonna need to take that from you, okay? Hey buddy, you've had enough tablet time. I'm not gonna give you the tablet anymore if you don't listen when I need to take it back. Give it nicely and you can watch TV. I've got my cheese sauce blending. And I have a contained baby. That's what happens, huh? Now you gotta watch mama cook. And now Camden is acting out because I took the tablet from him, guys. I might have to put him in his chair too. As soon as I took the tablet away, the first thing he did was he tried to get it back off the counter and then I scooted it out of the way. So then he tried to rip something else off the counter that he knows he's not allowed to touch. And now he's like, he threw his cup, now he's taking cushions off the couch. It's like a cycle. And this is why I haven't been giving him the tablet. Because it's like, even though he hasn't had it in like three days, he's doing the same thing he always does. And he's like acting out after I have to take it away. And he would do the same thing if he got to use it until it died too. He would do this when it dies. And I just think that's so unhealthy and just not okay. So it's like, am I just not supposed to give him tablet time? Because I mean, that's... That's pretty much what it's gonna come down to. All right, so kids dinner is ready and I kept it pretty simple. It's just some white rice and some peas and then I put some of the, um, the cheese sauce in. But I'm gonna feed these little guys, put these potatoes in the oven, clean this huge mess of a kitchen. I cleaned like half of it earlier and it just keeps like over piling on itself but then daddy should be home soon, huh? Daddy's home, where's daddy? <laughs> what are they doing to you, Daddy? I'm in the tent. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this has pretty much been our routine. Justin can't, hangs out with the boys while I finish up cooking our dinner. And then he will put them to bed and I'll get everything ready and then we'll have our dinner and watch TV in peace. Check it out. I've been teaching <laughs> Calvin to have a love of Harry Potter. Calvin. Hey, Calvin, say, say Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Not you. Dumbledore. Dumbledore. <gasps> Dumbledore. Yeah, Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore. <laughs> say Harry Potter. Uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> That's that milk you chose. Say Hufflepuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, give me a kiss. Oh my. <laughs> Come here. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Mwah. Oh, thank you, guys. You guys got some sweet potatoes, some carrots, and some applesauce. Eh. No, no, no. You don't shake. You can jump. There you go, Bubby. Yeah, good boy. Justin um, makes Franklin really nervous. He's just really skittish, so he like he won't eat when Justin's like right around him. Go ahead, it's baby. It's okay. Daddy. Come on, Frank. It's, it's a stinky day for Daddy. Can I Where did you get that? Oh, jeez. All right, he's next. Put him to bed. Yeah. What are you talking about? I will, I will stay in the bed. Yes. <laughs> 
Come down. I'll see you out there. All right, guys. So I just got changed, and I was wondering why I felt so cold when I took off my jacket. Look at this. Look at this. It's still set to cooling, and it's 65 degrees in here. Do you need me to teach you how to use a thermostat? No, why? <laughs> just because you thought it was cold in here? It was cold in here. You know it was set to cooling, right? At 71 degrees? In her defense, it was it was like 60 degrees yesterday, so we had the, the AC on because it needed to come on. I didn't even think of it. Like if I'm cold, I don't think of to like to go check the air. You think of, hey, I'm gonna wear this big comfy robe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching all the way to the end. We're just gonna eat some dinner, watch some Grace and Frankie on Netflix. I think we're almost to the season three finale. Exciting. Except not exciting, because I don't want it to be over. <laughs> but we're gonna close this vlog here. Catch you next time. Peace out, Juice Fam.